Hello, in this jQuery video, I am going to show you the mouse down event. So I've got this simple click event already created. And if I go to the div, any of the div, because that's what the selector is essentially selecting, and I click it, it prints a click div. But what I want to do is, hope I'm, I'm going to bring the mouse nearer to the mic now, just so you can hear the click a little louder. So hopefully you can hear that click and let me just hover over it i'm hovering over it and if i click it my finger is still down on the button so it's essentially the button is still down the left mouse button is i'm gonna let go of it now so as you saw the this code is only triggered when the click has fully completed so not when it's you know activated but when it's released the mouse down however so if I just do, if you select something again, you can put any fancy select you want. Do dot mouse down function here. I'm going to put console dot log, and I'm going to say mouse down. And now, if I were to reload it, and now that I've brought the mouse back near the mic. So I'm going to click the mouse button, the left mouse button, but not release it. Watch what happens. As you can see, the mouse down event is triggered. So when the mouse is down, but not fully you know, released, so it hasn't been released yet, it triggers that code. And now if I release it, it triggers the clicked div code. So that is the difference between the mouse down and click. So if you want, you know, some sort of event while the mouse is actually down, one of the use cases for this could be, you know, some sort of game or where you, you know, press a button and an object needs to move across the screen, but you don't want to, you know, constantly be, you know, tapping it. Also, I've got a mechanical keyboard, so you should be able to hear this. So you don't want to be doing that. You essentially just want to do this. As you see it's moving i only pressed the left key once but it's, i've still held it down and i've just let it go now so if you want some scenario like that the mouse down is the is the way to go in the next video i'll cover the mouse leave not the mouse leave the mouse up sorry if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next awesome mouse video